Okay, is it gonna shoot at me? I need it to shoot at me. Alright, no, it literally is just gonna explode. That is... Okay, that's awesome. Um, but... Alright, good morning, Wasteland. We are here on the test server, and the amusement park update is on the test server. We're gonna take a peek at it. Um... Let's see all the new things that you're going to be able to get with the upcoming Battle Pass. That's going to include a few weapons, but mostly the big, big one is tons of garage decor and customizable garages. So, if you're just getting here, um, I don't usually do this, but uh, I just started my first week of in-person school. And I got a really diverse group of kiddos, and we could really use some classroom supplies, because right now public schools are strapped for funding and budget because we're spending so much money on hand sanitizer um no i'm not really joking uh, we, we we could use your help if you'd like to donate to my classroom um miss lasher teacher i'm teaching with set up a, a donors choose page and if you want to help out whether it's buying some scissors or some crayons we'd very much appreciate it all right let's explore everything in this update well, as before, you can see we've got 76 levels on the upcoming Battle Pass, which are going to unlock basically all of your decor items for your garage. We've got a lot of stuff ranging from stickers to new Ravager's wheels. We'll take a look at that Hermit. There's also going to be that new cabin, and there's going to be that missile launcher. We will take a peek at all those things. You can see there's a teaser for the new cab right there. All right, guys, so take a look. We've got everything from gates to avatars to stickers to more stuff to more. Oh, this is going to be the big one, the hermits. Let's take a peek at this thing while we're here. After reaching a speed of 70 miles an hour, the resistance to all damage types increases by 70%. That's a huge, huge, huge resistance amount. So if you're in like a tusk build or something that never stops, this thing is going to absolutely be must have. So we've been asking for new epic wheels forever. They finally went ahead and done that for us. So we've got just a bunch of destructible objects, a bunch of decor, more decor now. Then we got the mystery crates, we've got more that just keep throwing that wheel in because you're going to need more than one of it. Training armored cars. All right, here it is. Here is the nest. This is going to be a homing missile launcher. Technology from the Ravager system. The modification made a miss an extremely unlikely result. So we get seven volleys. Repeatedly locking on target occurs 33% faster. Not exactly sure what that means. We're going to see if we can go ahead and test that after. What else do we have in here? All right, we've got like targets that are going to be hard for us to hit or we can aim at. We've got moving targets. We've got just decor and we have here is our new cabin. So you can see that it's a medium cabin. Da, da, da. It's based off that helicopter cab. We've got the Ravager bits coming out of it. If the invisibility module is not installed, the cabin performs its function. Active time, five seconds, cooldown 23. If the invisibility module is installed, then the cabin enhances its effect. Decloaking occurs with a delay after damage taken. That's going to be nice that you don't immediately become uncloaked, but we will have to play with it and see exactly how that's going to work. Now, these items are really cool. This absorption sphere uh, essentially is going to tell you your DPS. You're going to shoot it, and these lights are going to come up as damage gets ticked up. This one is going to be a moving target Ferris wheel, and there you have it. That is pretty much the basics of the battle pass we have a lot of stuff to go ahead and look at first so you're going to notice in storage you have a completely new tab called building so under this tab we're going to have yeah this one's pretty cool so we've got the new garage decor we've got the absorption sphere which we talked about it's a legendary one because it's going to give you the dps of your build we've got the auto catapult it's going to launch cars for you to shoot pretty awesome um the dynameter uh, it's like the hammer thing at the amusement park this one's gonna uh, i believe measure your melee damage see it's got a little thing you can press there a little lever essentially that's going to measure how hard when you ram it the melee damage or impact damage from your vehicle and then the ferris wheel is simply a moving target 
for you to try and hit. So you've got a couple different categories. You've got amusement park rides. These are the ones we just covered. These are kind of your interactive objects. For example, you've got the, the ball you can move around. You've got another little remote control cars that are going to move around. You've got dummies that you're going to have to hit that are going to go up and down and moving. Over here, these guys are just concrete blocks. These are indestructible. They're going to make up just the basic bones of your garage. These guys, decorations, will be I believe let's see not these ones these ones will also be indestructible okay so these will also set up things like ramps jumps and just cool looking parts of your base towers etc these guys are going to be destructible objects everything from exploding barrels of fire to um range marking signs etc i'm not sure how i'm going to know the range unless someone's painted it out there and then we've got different paints that we can paint everything. Now, before we go in and look too much more at how we build with the garage items, let's take a look at those new weapons. All right, guys, here we go in the new cabin. I'll tell you this, it is pretty fast right out the door as a medium cabin, so we've got some sort of ability that's charging up. And it looks like, is it boosting our cloak? We're gonna come on cloak still? How do I? I can't activate it, so I'm getting some sort of bonus based around speed with this cabin. All right, let's see how this weapon's going to work out. Can I target? No. All right, let's, let's get a lock on this. Oh, we've got to hold down because it does seven volleys. Interesting. It takes a little bit of time to use this one, guys. But can we pretty much hit at zero range? Yeah, but it, you're going to have that delay. But yeah, look, the, the missiles stick right into the target. And the way they go. I'm still confused a little bit about the perk from this new cabin. Let's try it without the cloak. Because it did mention with cloak, it did one thing. Without it, it did the other. So, it looks like without cloak on, you just get a built-in cloak. Okay. So I guess the bonus is if you do, let's see if we can get one of these bots to damage us because that's apparently what it does is if you do have cloak installed, you can take damage and not immediately on cloak. So let's call some bots in. Okay, now when we hit O, we don't just get bots. We actually get all of the garage construction tools to show up. So let's say I want to build a carapult because I need cars to show up. Can I stick it anywhere I want? All right, let's go try this out. Okay, is it gonna shoot at me? I need it to shoot at me. All right, no, it literally is just gonna explode. That is, okay, that's awesome. Um, but I actually just need a regular car. So let's go back to garage mode. Tab pulls up what we've got. So we got a training armored car. Can we just drop that bad boy out anywhere? It's not gonna let, it's gonna let me deploy it. No weld point. So I have to put it on something. All right, let's go grab uh, a concrete block. Now, this is all new to me, guys. We're just figuring out these toys right now. Unable to place the object, choose a different spot. Nope, 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 nope. All right, well, let's play with some of these other toys. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to measure DPS for us here. What's it gonna do? 333. All right, interesting. Let's go back to our garage. Let's see if we were to try out something like the Reaper. I don't know. Let's see how this thing measures damage. I'm just curious to check this out. How the absorption sphere works. Okay, maybe we should have picked a build that doesn't immediately have way too much recoil. But that's pretty good damage measuring. This is going to make testing a lot easier. So I am really glad that they've added this. This car launching carapult. Uh, <laughs> can get a little annoying if it's right in your way. 
all day long. Now let's take a look at the the dynameter. Oh, so just barely any passive melee damage there. So that's going to measure that. Let's see if there's anything interactive about this. Oh, we can switch off the car launcher. That is nice. We're going to turn that off. Yeah, car launcher, you're going to have to go. I got to say, there's a lot of really cool toys in this update. I think at first I was like, uh, it's just garage building things. We're going to need a way, though, to show off our garages uh, to each other, Tarjim. If you've added that, do let me know. Now, I can't figure out how to get bots to show up. Is it because we're on the test server? Because I'd really like to go ahead and test out this ability of this particular cabin. But while we're here, let's go check out the Six Frags Amusement Park demo, which uh, looks pretty amazing. Um, definitely kind of makes me want to have some sort of amusement park based. Right, can we get in there? get in there i'm wondering if this is going to just stick around during the uh battle pass i have a feeling it will that we're going to get custom because it's kind of like a merchant vehicle that's just showed up that'd be kind of cool theme that as ravens show up we get a ravens convoy or as whomever is running the current battle pass shows up we, we get that convoy in the pipe guys i know this is a little bit quick and dirty uh, I know Tree Burgers beat me to the punch on this one. I'm just trying to keep my head above water with my job and my family, and uh, this is my second income. So if you are watching these videos and you're getting an ad, you are helping me put food on the table and school supplies in my classroom, and I appreciate you guys. Be good out there. Stay safe on the wasteland, and maybe when everyone gets this update, we'll do a make your own garage build challenge on the Discord. Find all that information down in the description. You guys be good, stay safe out there, and take care of each other. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Mr. G, out. Oh, that is maybe the worst jump we ever did. Maybe the worst. <laughs>